how do I deal with some, like I found a new unique belief in fitness that I like. I want to replace my old one. However, yeah. that's what I've been serving everybody. And I, I always relate it back to fitness and fashion has, there's some similarities and what you can learn from fitness and fashion, Jinko jeans. Do you remember Jinko jeans? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. None of us, even prior to Jinko jeans. I always had, wanted a pair of those, but they were like too aggressive. Too, <laughs> and I, I was like, my mom would like, absolutely like, yeah, not. Let's get something else. No, yeah, Jinko jeans and a chain wallet and the whole yeah, deal. If any of you guys aren't familiar cool. with Jinko jeans, just go ahead and Google that real quick. Um, <laughs> but that was fashion and it wasn't around until it was. But the thing that made it present was the volume of people doing it. So I always look at like even now, like go back six, seven years ago, eight years ago. Would we be wearing five inch inseams? No. Not as much. Nope. Remember like, and what like basketball, you'd wear the basketball shorts, sure. you know, right over the middle of the kneecap to even below the kneecap. If you want your new fitness, you need new unique belief in fitness to take hold. It's about volume because nobody just like in fashion, nobody follows a trend unless they see other people doing it. Yeah. And unless they can perceive that person is, oh, they look good in that. Yes. And a lot of people are doing it. I'm going to do it next. So I'll always try to, you know, at a broad level, try to coach them. Like we need the mavens in the gym, people that are the influencers to really fall in love with your unique belief in fitness. If they yeah. don't do it, you got to big struggle on your hands. Yeah. But if you can, it's going to be like fashion. It's going to be like one of these things where people are like, oh, that's kind of weird, but kind of cool. And they look good doing it. And then yep. it just, it's a psychological, just like, just boom, one by one by one, they just kind of all follow in. But I always think about that, trying to change the tides inside of a gym when they're changing their their unique belief in fitness and switching over. You just got to think about how fashion trends come and go. It yeah. all results in, can I get a volume of people doing it? And can I make those people look good or be perceived to look good in this new style? Yeah, absolutely. 